Today we're going to be making spoon tender short ribs. Uh, that's not what I meant. This is what I meant. To start, you're going to cut your short ribs into one by one inch cubes. Here I used boneless beef short ribs, but you can use whatever you like. Now that your beef is cut into small pieces, you can season it generously with salt and pepper. Next, preheat a Dutch oven with some oil on the bottom over medium high heat. Once it's preheated, place in your seasoned short ribs and cook eight minutes per batch. Our short ribs have now been cooking and they have developed a nice crust and it is time to take them out. Now, using the same pan with a little bit of the oil drained, add your carrots, onions, and celery and cook for about five minutes. Once the five minutes is up, add about a tablespoon of red sauce and stir around. Let it cook for an additional two minutes. After the two minutes is up, stir in an entire bottle of red wine, as well as all of your short ribs with the accumulated juices. Then set it over high heat and bring to a boil. Once it is boiling, put it down to medium heat and simmer for about 25 minutes or until the wine has reduced by half. While our braising mixture is simmering, it's time to talk about our herbs. Here, I'm, you can see me chopping an entire head of garlic lengthwise. Now it's time to stir in all of our herbs. Here, I use a whole head of garlic, as well as rosemary, thyme, bay leaves, and oregano. You can also use parsley or anything else. Now that all of our herbs are in, pour in four cups of beef stock and bring to a boil. Cover with a lid and put into an oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees. Then cook for about two and a half hours. And there you have it spoon tender short ribs. You can serve these with mashed potatoes, asparagus, or anything else you would like. Remember to like if you liked, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.